guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys already know my name, hopefully if not, my name's Abby. Today we are going to be doing a 0 to 100 look with just affordable makeup since y'all know that on my channel we're on a budget and since I'm starting college, y'all know, probably like, what? You're starting college? Like, you're too young. I know, I get that a lot. Um, probably didn't even know that I was probably 18, but whatever. So today uh, let's just jump in because i talk a lot by the way i hope you guys like the background this is a new setup um i'm actually recording in my room but i have the tapestry behind me so i hope you guys like this new setup if not leave a comment about leave a comment down below saying like you liked the other setup where i recorded in the living room but even though that was kind of like a yellowish tone when i recorded why am i still yapping let's get on to it so I'm going to be using the Maybelline Brow Pro Drama Palette and this is in the shade Soft Brown or the number 255 and this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to start filling my brows. Okay so I'm actually going to go in the brown pomade instead of the actual powder. I'm going to be using um, this angled brush and I am just going to be dipping into that pomade also I brought you guys in closer just in case you guys couldn't see my feet or my brows so I want to make sure you guys can see me you know and then I just like to go in Now that my eyebrows literally look like block eyebrows, <clears throat> I'm going to take a spoolie and we're just going to make that super natural by combing up the brows. I'm just going to bring all that in. I kind of like just pushing my brows up like that. Yep. 
fill up the next item I like for the next makeup product that I like to use for my eyebrows is concealer. And you guys know on my channel I love this concealer. It's the Maybelline 15, um, Maybelline Fit Me 15 <laughs> concealer. Oh my god, I can't talk. It's the Maybelline Fit Me New York concealer, shade 15 or fair. So, if you guys want to but, I don't know why that was so hard, but we like to carve our brows on this channel. So I'm going to do that because they look very blocky. I normally don't do that, but brow pomades normally I have a problem doing that, so I like to carve my brows. any like video ideas coming up next like uh, like since fall is coming up maybe more fall looks I definitely want to do more um, Halloween looks I know on my channel that's what got a lot of views you guys love that half pop art half regular glam look that was really popular um, and I, now I'm thinking about just creating full pop art look for Halloween if you guys want to see that if not, just leave it down below. Just be honest with me. I guys, I really like when you guys um, give me your feedback. Oh yeah, by the way guys, if you hear background noise, just ignore it. Um, my dad's outside doing um, yard work with uh, his boss from work, so ignore that. He doesn't exist right now. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Well, it's not really a beauty blender. I got this from um, TJ Maxx. If you guys want to see more videos of me going to TJ Maxx, let me know, because I can. Um, that's not a problem. Recently, I just bought the um, semi-sweet palette from TJ Maxx, and I'm so happy because now I have the chocolate palette, chocolate bomb bombs, and now the semi-sweet palette. So, really happy about that. So let's move on to eyeshadow. Prepped our eyes. Um, I don't know if the camera caught me saying since we prepped our eyes already. I'm going to be using the Morphe um, eyeshadow palette. This is in the uh, number uh, 35O. If you guys want to see me do a um, review, not review, a look on the 35O. Two palette I can. Um, you guys know that Morphe is incredible. You guys know that Morphe is very affordable. You get a lot of shades out of it. This is what the palette looks like, and it was even on sale at Ulta for I think it was like fifteen dollars. But I actually paid twelve dollars because people don't know that you can use the Ulta coupon on a already like doorbuster item and especially how this is not a high-end product it actually took my three dollars and fifty cent coupon so I ended up paying twelve dollars for the Morphe palette so let me stop talking because Abigail you love to talk a lot so I'm just grabbing a, a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dip into this Whoop. guys it's really isn't my day today but I'm gonna dip I'm gonna dip let me hold it from the top I'm going to dip my brush into this oh, wrong one wrong one hmm. I just want this video to be cute okay but yeah I'm gonna have it this shade let me actually tell you the name so that I don't struggle oh, that's backwards up front, it's called. Yep. 
So I'm just going to apply that to my um, crease. Just apply it all over the lid. I don't know why I'm a hot mess right now. I'm going to apply that again. Oh my god. So I'm applying up front all over my crease and I would just kind of setting that concealer in place. Next I'm going to I'm going into the shade called Bake and I'm just applying that all over my crease. Again, like I said, applying that to the crease. Next, I'm going into the shade called Coco, and that's this one right here, and again, I'm putting that on the crease. Next, I'm taking Unreal um, in the outer corner. Next, I'm taking Slight, which is this shade right here, and I'm again putting that in the outer corner, and then just blending that out. Now that we're kind of like done with the eyes, I know it looks kind of like crazy and dramatic, but again, we're trying to look 0 to 100. We're trying to look glamorous all the time. I'm going to clean that up later. Don't worry. But we are going to be using the e.l.f. What is this? I know this is the 
brushed copper that's what it's called it's a liquid eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Butterfingers butter today. Okay, so I'm going to use this flat brush to apply this beautiful metallic liner. Of uh, this liner, oh my god, this shadow. So I'm using like padding motions to like padding motions to like really get the product in there it just makes your face like your eyes look really really wet if you like that look do it if you don't you, you can just skip that step and you can make it like all matte it's like all to you girl oh my god I got it here color it out oh my god okay Okay, I'm going to take a little more, a flat brush, I just finished my eyeliner, it's still a little thick, but you know what, it's okay, I still like the pigmentation of it and the formula, um, I just haven't been using on my channel if you know. Y'all, I did not know that the camera died and that it stopped recording, but basically I did. So next up, we gotta conceal because I so I just applied the Fit Me concealer by Maybelline, which so I am just blending out. Oh, I don't know why the camera's being really funky today, guys. Um, I was telling you guys that I applied my Maybelline, the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and the um by the Cover Girl translucent powder. Now I'm using the butter bronzer to um. Just bronze up my face, and um, yeah, so far I'm just kind of doing that. I, my face looks so white in the camera. I'm putting a lot of bronzer on. Mm. Elf blush to apply on my face. Wet and Wild stick to highlight my face. I'm going to be using this Milani um, 69 Matte Beauty lipstick. Like that. Next, to give it that extra shine, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. glitter gloss. Right in the center. Finally, to complete this look, to complete this look, I'm going to be spraying my face with the Maybelline um, Fix Plus, Master Fix Plus. I'm just going to fan myself after fix, after spraying myself with the Fix Plus, or the Master Fix Plus, or just the setting spray. I really hope you guys really like this video, this affordable makeup look. All I used was only affordable makeup, so I hope you make sure you like this video, make sure you comment down below, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.